Good morning, family. As always, give thanks and praise to your Creator, whoever you may conceive your Creator to be, him or her. And for me, any day above ground, beautiful day, is a lovely day. Give thanks and praise to your Creator for another beautiful day above ground. Now, I like to keep things in perspective. I don't like to gossip about people. I don't like doing that. But I like to look at things from a different point of view. And, and speak on it from a different point of view. Now, the Braxton sister that gets passed... All respects to her. My deepest sympathies to the family and to her. I respect them for that. But I was thinking about this and I'm saying to myself, well, I was made to understand allegedly that they really didn't like her. They said she couldn't sing. And whenever she speak, they would always shut her down and always talk down to her all the time. She was, they were known for doing that as far as we understand. She wasn't really well liked by the family or by them as far as we understand. But now that she is passing, or she's passed, but like I said, my deepest sympathies, I was saying that, uh, I think the family was saying that they respect the privacy of the grieving of their family member, and they would like to keep their, their privacy, you know, away from the public. So as I was lying there, that dawned on me, and I said to myself, with the same people that want to share sympathy to them, to the family, it's the same people that go and buy the tickets that put them on the pedestal that they are. Let me say it again. To my opinion, that the same people that want to show sympathy or go by the house or call them and say, I'm sorry for your laughing, for your law for your lossing, it's the same people that go and buy the tickets, buy the DVDs, buy the videos to watch them singing. So if you're going perform in a whole group of people and go and get dressed up to watch people see you singing and shouting and screaming your name. Why are you want privacy for people to come and look at your house and be outside your house or call me your number to tell you they're sorry or they're grieving or they're sorry for your loss. So what I'm trying to say is that if you don't want people, these famous people, that's in the limelight, all the time, I like to be in the limelight. I know that things are not in the limelight. We call you have to take the bitter with the sweet. You got to take the bitter with the sweet. So if you lose a family member and you're telling people you want to be, you you respect your privacy. But I don't understand that part. I really can't get to understand. Like I said, I'm very sympathetic now. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm very sympathetic. But if you don't want people to invade your privacy when a family member die, don't be famous. Because a regular person, the buddy ain't call your house. A regular person, the buddy ain't go outside your house and stay up. And so, yeah, Michael Brown gets passed away. Let me go out there and, re and, and feel sorry for the family. Because he ain't famous. Somebody really care about him. So if you are in the limelight, and you're in the same limelight that people come to watch you sing, or watch you perform, and you don't worry about that part, but now that a family member has passed away, you can tell people you want people to respect your privacy. I don't get that understand. Like I said, I repeating myself again, I'm very sympathetic because I know that people don't die. You just miss the physicalness of the person that moving on to another reality. But in the meantime, you have to take the bitter with the sweet. For me, I went through some physical problems and I was down for a while. And I didn't complain to Lord. I thank you for whatever happened to me. I thank you for whatever happens to me. I deal with it and they move on. So I don't understand these people tell you that uh, they respect their privacy and when some person uh, from their family don't do not call or then don't be famous. Call me regular people when we pass on. <laughs> nobody don't know. <laughs> nobody ain't here. Nobody really don't. We have a few friends that we know yet. But apart from that, it can be just another day for the whole world. So folks, to those famous people, take the bitter with the sweet and keep it moving. Until then, folks, I love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the comment. Thanks for a thumbs up. And like I'm repeating myself one more time, I am very sympathetic for the lossing of people. But like I know on my research, as years go by, we do not die. You only would miss the physicalness of the person. 
the interaction with the person, the hanging out with the person, you miss that. You have that thoughts about that person. So that's why you can always have pleasant thoughts about people that when they're past, we get smiling. That brother was cool, man. That sister was all right. My aunt, she was, man, was all right. That's why you can always have pleasant thoughts and be speaking very nicely about people. And like I said before, I keep saying, if you come across any person that's judgmental or criticize or condemn, leave that person alone because you want to have a good memory of all people. You will have some people, yes, those people that want to come into your life, that want to be always miserable, you'll leave them alone. And if they happen to pass, it's like, it's all good. It's all good. Until then, folks, be loving, be kind, be giving, be caring, be considerate, be appreciative, and show gratitude. Always show gratitude. I love you guys now. Until then, peace out. One love.